Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Scream 3. We've made it to the third one, so I'm pretty excited about this. But, so I just uploaded Scream 2, like two days ago. And I wanted to like wait just a little bit so I could read the comments and read your guys' feedback on Scream 2 or whatever. And it was a lot of good feedback. Like, okay, honestly, I don't hate Gail that much. It's just like, it's more of like, she's just like kind of annoying. She's just really selfish, so it's like, I don't have that much, like, tolerance for her, I guess. Like, she only cares about something when it benefits her, if you know what I mean. Sure, she cares a little bit about Dewey, you know, like, she she tried to go back and help him, but, you know, it's like, only when his life was in danger, I guess, when the Scream guy confronted him or whatever. Um, and then, like, her camera guy, she Kenny fucking died, and in the first movie, Kenny died, and she, like, didn't really care, like... It's not like that she didn't care, but she kind of was just like, oh, whatever. I'll just get a new one, you know? So, and then the second camera guy, Joel, um, he actually was like, look, I'm trying to report the news. I'm not trying to be the news. And he's right. So, and then that's when Gail was like, oh my God, like, no, Joel, I want you on my team, you know? Like, it's only when he was like, no, I'm out. She, that's when she was like, no, I want you. So, and then... Out. And then actually, like, honestly, I'm pretty surprised that, like, nobody spoiled it, for, spoiled it for me in the comments. Like, for Scream 3, and at least. Because, like, I'm sure, like, the people who, like, are subscribed to me and, like, want to watch me watch it aren't going to say anything. But, I'm, like, what's stopping somebody just completely random from finding my videos and then just being, like, boom, oh, this happens in Scream 3 and this happens in Scream 4, you know? Like, there's literally nothing stopping those people from doing that. So, if you see, like, a spoiler in the comments, please, like, just report it or something before, like, I see it, you know? Because I don't have, like, anyone check my comments before, I like, I read them. So, if it's in there, I'll, I might, there's a good chance I'm going to see it. So, I saw some other comments of saying Scream 3 isn't that good. It's kind of trash. So, I'm not going to... You know, here's the thing, though. Like, there's a lot of movies I like that a lot of people don't like. And there's a lot of movies I don't like that a lot of people do like. So, I'm not really going to judge a movie based on, like, what other people think about it. I'm going to judge it based on how I how I see it and how much I enjoyed it, you know? Um, Actually, I'm going to shave my face really quick. Okay, yes, I did just change my shirt. But, anyway, it's a little cold in here. But, anyway, anyway. Um, so a lot of people said Scream 3 isn't really that great of a movie, you know, and the first two are way better, but then other, you know, other people said they still enjoyed it. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm just, here, okay, here's what I look for in a movie that makes it good, right? So here's the, honestly the best example I can give you guys. So Star Wars, right? You probably already heard me talk about this, but I'm gonna say it one more time just because. Wait, I got something on the lens right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this by trilogy. So, Star Wars, the very first original trilogy, right? Very good all around. Like, yeah, it did everything really well. You know, sure, it had like some flaws, but the flaws aren't really like that big. They're, you're just like nitpicking at that point, you know? So, and then you have the prequels and the sequels right now in my opinion the prequels and the sequels are like the exact opposite of each other like the problems they have are the opposites problems okay so what the prequels did bad is what the sequels did good but what the sequels did bad is what the prequels did way better did really well the sequels i don't have many i don't have that many problems with it i just have one problem honestly just just one problem with the sequels but it's literally the biggest problem you can have. With the sequels, I have, no, with the prequels, I have many problems with that. But they got the one thing right that I can look past everything on, okay? And I can still enjoy the prequels because they got this one thing right. And that is the story, okay? Sure, the prequels has their flaws, for sure, you know? Whether that's like, the questionable dialogue, the delivery of the lines, the CGI, Jar Jar Binks, you know, just overuse of CGI sometimes, I felt like, 
you know, honestly, I don't even hate Jar Jar. Like, I hated him at first, but, like, now I just, I love him because he's just, like, he's like a meme now. They got the storyline right, in my opinion. Yeah, sure, the pacing could have been better. Like, Anakin's downfall could have been stretched out a little bit longer because if you just watch the movies, yeah, it seems pretty fast, but then you watch the Clone Wars, you see, no, this was, like, a thing stretched out over a very long time. And you see, like, all the little things that happen to him add up, and he's just like, like, yeah, I don't fucking blame him for joining the dark side either. So, the sequels have pretty good acting. They have good actors. Like, that wasn't a problem for me. I loved all the actors in it. Um, and then the VFX was amazing, you know, just the pacing sometimes was bad, but for the most part it was good, but they just fucked up the story. Like, I don't know, like, honestly, dude, I don't know what the story of the sequels is supposed to be because like, no, I, I know the story, but it just seems like they're just, it's not like. It just doesn't seem like a linear story. It's just like, boom, you go up and down and over. Like, like the story just doesn't make that much sense, you know? And it just seems like, I know they had different directors for every movie of the sequels. And, well, so like J.J. Abrams did the first one. Ryan Johnson did the, did the second one. And the problem is Ryan Johnson basically said, fuck your story to J.J. Abrams. I'm doing something different. And that kind of just fucked it up. And so they only had one more movie that they could, like, finish the story in, and they just, you know, they had to do so much, and it's just, like, like, it was, it's a totally wasted trilogy, to be honest. It's totally wasted. It's, in my opinion, it's not even canon for me. Like, I don't pay attention to the sequels. For me, as far as the story goes, is, like, the end of The Mandalorian Season 2. That's when it, that's, like, the, that's when it stops, and it's gonna, you know, that's as far as we've gotten for me at least because the sequels are just like there's just so the story was so bad like it doesn't make sense it does not feel like star wars at all it is irrelevant to everything that's happened before it okay that was that was too long of a rant to be honest but that's basically like what makes a movie good in my opinion is a story like i can look past everything as long as the story is fucking solid you know but if everything is perfect and then the story is not good at all, then I can't, I, it's not going to be enjoyable for me. So anyway, we're going to, we're going to start Scream 3. Okay. I know that was a long ass rant about Star Wars, but that's basically just how I perceive movies when I watch them. Um, I don't care. Like, I, like I, just to recap it, I don't care if like everything is bad except the story. You know what I mean? I can look past it. Now, obviously, there's some movies that aren't that serious, you know, like scary movie. You know, it's like, that's just, I don't give a shit about that movie. But actually, the the, the same kind of still holds true to the, screen, the scary movie franchise. Like, scary movie one compared to scary movie three, scary movie one's so much better. So, that's just my opinion, though. Also, one more thing. Um, you guys were kind of right about... Okay, so... I realized in Scream 2, I didn't realize why Dewey was limping, but it's because he had nerve damage from the first movie, and and they did mention that in the in the cafe with Randy and Dewey when they were talking about it. So, and like, dude, like when when somebody said they talked about it in the cafe, then it started to sound familiar. Like I definitely heard them say it, but I just didn't like remember it. I don't know. I gotta pay more attention. So, okay. So the goal is to guess who the killer is before they reveal it now in the last movie they had a lot of misdirection with who they were trying to make you think it was you know like the billy's mom never saw that coming mickey never saw that coming because mickey was irrelevant the entire movie so i and like i can't just guess everyone because if i guess everyone yeah i'll get it right so i have to make like a definitive guess so i'm gonna give myself halfway through the movie to make my guess and I'm going to stick with it. And we're probably going to be wrong. But that's the goal here. Alright, it's playing. Okay, so I'm actually kind of curious to see, like, how they do the third one differently. Like, who is going to be the killer? How are they going to do this? Um, oh, okay. Hollywood sign. And how are they going to mix it up? You know what I mean? 
and if Sydney just finally moves to like Fiji or something because so someone wants her dead constantly. Like if I'm Sydney, I'm Cindy, I'm going to fucking Fiji, bro. They're never finding me there. Okay, we, we got caught in here now. Wait, is Cotton gonna die in the opening scene? I would be so- Dude, come on. Don't do this to us. Wait a minute, you are Cotton, aren't you? So, uh, you a big, uh, 100% Cotton fan? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's very good. Also, you guys said you enjoy the movie when it's pretty long. Also, you guys said you don't care if the movie's pretty long. So, I'm gonna... You know, I'm gonna let this. You do. Ooh. I'm right outside her bathroom door. Oh Who fuck! Is She's in the. No, wait. Hello? Damn. Okay, so it's not caught in the dies. It's his girlfriend. Ooh. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. I hope. Okay. Well. <sighs> I don't really give a shit about his girlfriend. I only care about Cotton. So if his girlfriend dies, I'm not gonna be that mad. Is that a camera? Oh, he, oh no, the wire's cut. Okay, so the wire's cut because the phone, so the phone's not ringing. Okay. Okay, I, I'm anticipating a jump scare. I'm definitely anticipating a jump scare here. Who is it? Who's there? Christine? Han, you alright? I'm home. It's not Cotton. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. That's not Cotton. I'm not gonna believe what just happened to me. What are you talking about? Okay, that, that didn't give me that bad. That wasn't that bad. Oh, ooh, nice up kick. Let's fucking go. Good shit. Yep. Oh my god. Fucking somebody realizes to lock the door. Somebody realizes to lock the door. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hope Cotton fucking kills this guy. Oh, wait. What? Cotton's wearing an all-white suit? Uh, they... He's gonna die because now there's... Like... It's like the logic I'm thinking right now is... He's wearing an all-white suit, so when he dies, there's just gonna be blood everywhere and it's gonna look way worse. Okay, never, Okay, took it off. Oh, he, he got through the door. Dude, I'd just be ready, just... Uh, no, hold it like this. Ooh, oh, the killer dipped. The killer dipped. That's what happened. Yeah, and Colin has no idea. Chris, was somebody in the house? Just stay back. Just stay. Just stay back and talk about it. Talk, talk about it from a distance. Motherfucker. You. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Fuck. Beat his ass, beat his ass, beat his ass. Oh, thank you. Let's go. This curb stomped the shit out of me. Oh my god. It was a simple game, Cotton. You should have told me where Sydney was. Now, you lose. Wow. So Cotton did die. God damn it. Okay, okay, I don't really blame his girlfriend for freaking out because she doesn't, like, she didn't know that wasn't him or whatever. But, 
yeah, it's a tricky situation. But, uh, dude, come on. How does Cotton die? I mean, obviously, we know how. It's just like, why? God damn. That's just like a fuck you, you know, in the beginning, like a huge, like, mic drop, kind of. Damn, yeah. Yeah, Sydney has fucking security all over. She, honestly, she, she should get like five German Shepherds. Just fucking like five of them. Just to be safe. Dude, German Shepherds are fucking nasty, dude. My friend had one, and I swear to God, this dog would kill me if I broke into their house. So, in closing, as the future journalist of America, there is one thing that you need to remember. Oh, Gail, Gail, sweetie, sweetie, not. that haircut the is not it. That is not it, it, sweetie. That is the only way that you'll get the story, the facts, and the fame. Alright, dude, she has like a fifth grader haircut. Also, um, I saw a lot of comments of people saying they don't care how long the movie is. Like, they prefer the longer version of the video, you know, if it's like 40 to 50 minutes, they don't really care. So, this video is going to be as, as long as it happens to be. Oh, wait, no way, I know who that is. I'm here because Cotton Murray's been murdered. Oh, that's fucking... What's his name? It's McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. I tried to watch Grey's Anatomy, and I got through like two seasons, and then I gave up. Dude. Move to Fiji already. They'll never find you there. Or go to like Switzerland or something. And just live in the mountains. I really want to go to Switzerland and just look at the mountains and everything. Detectives, there's no reason to presume that Cotton's death had anything to do with this movie, is there? He was making a movie called Stab. He was Stab. Yeah, it's true. Probably some psycho fan pissed off they killed Randy and Stab too. Well, Tyson, I'd make you next, wouldn't it? Yeah, me. Me. How the fuck did she get in here? Gail Weathers. Oh my god. Uh, listen, I, I, I know we've never met single. That's a pretty good fallback. Gives me more time for my work. After all, Gail Weathers, you're such a complex character. Oh, and to be played by an actress with such depth and range. Uh, Jennifer, Nick said you wanted to... Oh, it was Dewey. Dewey. Gail, I think you'll really appreciate my character work in this one. Someone's helped me understand the real you. Someone? Shut up. Okay, I hate this bitch more than Gail. I hate her more. Rules are rules, Gail. But really, it was great seeing you. Okay, I kind of feel bad for Gil now because all of the actors kind of just, they like, they definitely just disrespected the fuck out of her right there, and they just shattered her ego. Oh, that's fucking Jay and Bob. It's Jay and Silent Bob. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, they just shattered her ego, which is good. She needed to be humble. We're good. That's character development. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that outside? What the fuck? Hell no, dude. Oh, my God. God damn, that's so creepy. Fuck! I heard that. What? I heard that! Okay, dude, I swear to God, I'm about to go and buy like a lock for my door so no one can walk in. <sighs>
But anyway, okay, well, it's this creepy ass shot. 21 minutes, 38 seconds playing now. Oops. Yeah, that shot scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh my god. Because I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I was just like, I was leaning up like this, I think, and I was like, ooh. I hate shit like that, dude. I hate shit like that. Oh. Okay. Fuck. 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 Oh my god. God damn it, dude. That was the most delayed, like, reaction. Fuck. Jesus. I'm trying not to, I'm trying like not to yell because my brother and my mom are right up there. Oh my god, that got me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is why I will, I do not want to watch like The Conjuring or like anything like that. Because that, that will just, I'll have a heart attack. I swear to god I will. And so, oh. So it just makes me not want to watch those movies, even though like I, it's gonna be good. Like, Jesus, I gotta get a new agent. Like I know it's gonna scare the shit out of me, and it'll probably make for a good video. But uh. <sighs> dude, it's the, it's the sound. It's the sound from the headphones that get me. The music that pops up. Mm. Okay, that, that didn't get me. Ah, oh, good good shit. You broke the fucking trophy. You broke the five dollar trophy. Director's office. Sarah, it's Roman. Uh, I'm sorry I'm running late. I'm still on the four oh five. I'm about ten minutes away. Well, it's no problem. I'm just <sighs> Ring ring. Hello. Hello? Who's this? This? this is candy. Hang on, let me get some clothes. Okay, this is definitely the killer on the phone. I don't understand why I have to start the scene in the shower. The whole shower thing's been because done. Vertigo, hello? how is this full driving and like reading the script at the same time? Especially on like the 405. Read the scene. Candy. Nice name. Is that like candy cane? And it's called Sarah gets skewered like a fucking pig. Still in character. Come on, come on. I knew it. Uh, Alright, RIP. RIP. The fox. Oh, God damn. Mm, yeah. Damn. The file room gets ransacked. Has someone stole Sid's file? I already removed it. I think someone on film is trying to find Sid. I'm sorry, this is incredible. I said off the record. See, see, it's shit like that that I don't like about Gail. It's off the record. You can't report this. It's just out of respect. She's gonna report it anyway because she doesn't like. She's too selfish. But, okay, we're gonna guess who the killer is. We're, in this movie, we're actually gonna find out who it is. We're gonna predict it. We're gonna get it right. You know, in the last movie, it was Mickey, I think. And that fool was completely irrelevant as Mickey. So. Out of everyone we've seen so far, I have no idea who it could be. I'm gonna say... It could be the cop playing Dewey. Who the fuck is this? I haven't had one of these in okay. a year and a half. Someone's gonna pay for this. Jennifer, settle down. What happened? Who the I, fuck I'm is this? Like Someone's killing them in the order they die in the movie. Bro, why is she talking like that? Dewey, who gets killed third? 
Who gets killed there? Her. Oh, it's Gail, never mind. I get killed in stab three. What the fuck? What? Yeah. Dude, where are you going? I have to get something from my trailer. Bro, is that how people you like here with her? actors in LA like yeah. actually oh, act? Why? Like I needed a place to stay and she said she liked having me around. <sighs> Resume list Julia Roberts, Simon Rushdie, Posh Spice. You are the Hollywood hanger on her. Because uh, you're just no good as a cop anymore. Your resume Wait, reads like the obituary. Who is this so guy? Take suggestions from me. He sounds like Joe from Family Guy. But. Okay. Hmm. Producers told us that there are three different versions of the scripts and they're about trying to keep the ending off the internet. You should know that. You're the technical advisor, right? Wait, didn't it like that actually happen with the real screen movies? Cause I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read a comment saying they had to keep rewriting the, the scream ending because it kept getting leaked. So that's funny how they're doing that now in their movie. And the studio said they let me. I just had to do a scary movie for them first. And now we're shut down and I am fucked. God, it's... Do you think this wasn't a message? Roman Bridger. What? Oh, no, that's because Sarah just dropped it like a dumbass. Sarah Darling before she was murdered. Huey, Jennifer. She wasn't talking with me. I'm coming. I'll call her in. Yeah, it was. It wasn't actually him. We know that, Smiling. but. Cell phone I could borrow. 